Despite those economic headwinds, small businesses have started to hire, much of it funded over the past year by small community banks rather than the traditional big banks. As Mark Strassman reports, the key to boom or bust could be right down the street. This is Red, the steakhouse. And Brad Friedlander is a month away from opening two restaurants under one roof in Boca Raton, Florida. It's a big place. It's a monster. But America's credit squeeze almost put this project under before it ever had a chance to succeed. Wow, this is beautiful. Friedlander had done well owning restaurants in Cleveland and in 2008 was about to open another one in Miami. Then the economy tanked. His investors fled. I lost $2 million in investors in a $3 million project. None of the big banks in Cleveland would lend him a nickel. They would really wouldn't even consider it. The big banks that wouldn't take your application, some of their executives were your customers? All the CEOs are our customers, you know, of all the big banks in Cleveland. And what do they say to you when they came in the restaurant after not having even taken your call, essentially? They don't think anything of it. I mean, they're bankers. <laughs> <laughs> If we look at this as a startup, it's... Dell Duncan gave Friedlander a lifeline. This career banker opened Ohio Commerce Bank in Cleveland just before the recession hit. It's a community bank dedicated to small business with an old-fashioned charter. Make loans to people, right. not to credit scores. To we look at every customer individually. We'll, we'll go out and see them, and that allows us uh, to do more loans than a larger bank. We have to believe their story. Duncan says community banks still take risks and make loans that the big banks run away from. We've seen customers come our way that have had good relationships with their large bank, 5, 10, 15 years, but the bank unilaterally decides that their industry is just not one they want to lend to anymore, and they're asked to leave. Well, they actually made some money, huh? Duncan's Ohio Commerce Bank lent Friedlander three and a half million dollars. He paid off his investors, expanded into Florida, and created 350 restaurant jobs. They showed us everything. They worked with us on a daily basis. Did they save the business? Yes. Would any of those jobs have been created without this loan? No. None of them? None. All because a small bank looked at a small businessman and saw a big opportunity. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Miami.